All right, I got a new Opus 88. I am cr lately on the hunt, or I really enjoy um, pocket pens. And so I thought, you know what? I really love the Coloro, which is right here. Let me grab that so I can show you. This was one of the first, um, it wasn't super expensive, but it was not in the 20 to $30 range. Uh, this was the first more expensive pen that I purchased in the Independence Day sale at uh, Endless Pens. And uh, I got another Opus 88 in the Independence Day sale at Endless Pens this year. But this time I went with a pocket pen and I went with the mini pocket pen stripe and I got a B nib. This is what it looks like in the box. It is an eyedropper filler pen. And it is very much cigar shaped. As you can see, it is also quite thick. Um, these two don't really um, the let me check and open up the grip section yes the grip section is shorter but this grip sh section looks like it's even wider than the grip section on the coloro which i don't really know what i expected i i didn't expect it to be this bulky um but i'm totally fine i have not tried this yet um we'll see how it works the only concern that I would have probably or will have, we'll see how that works out for me, is that it doesn't feel like the cap sits on very tightly and it can be, um, what is that called? Oh my gosh, I'm always blanking on the name. It's not capped because capped is like this, but I, I, I think I would feel uh, or write more comfortably. This pen is also, it's not very back heavy and the weight even though yes of course the uh, the cap weighs the pen down in the back it it sits or in my hand at least it comes down here so sometimes when you have a pen where it makes the the cap makes the pen heavy uh, when it the center is back here it will take it out of your hand and it will fall backwards that is with not the case with this pen because even though it might ha have some more weight in the back that will fall right into this I don't even know what this is a crease of your hand so I, I for some reason I expected this to be purple and it is not it is teal turquoise light blue whatever you want to call this I I went for this color because I feel like I don't have a color like that in my collection yet and it seems like I am going more for the rainbow color vibe with my fountain pen collection which is totally cool with me. I want to ink this pen up with a color which I don't really know yet. I, I opened up the purples on my samples or swatches that I have on these Subami um, swatch cards. These are not all the inks that I have. I also have, let me check, I think I thought about maybe using oops, the Diatromentis Document Violet. It looks like this or the Lamy Tourmaline. But then, even though I'm, I need to swatch out my inks and see what is still working and what is not working, I mean, this would fit in here, but I do have a teal blue. Well, this is probably more on the green, green leaning side here uh, that is in this pen already, but I don't really have a purple. This is brown, this is... Um, red and a pink so I think I should go with a purple and 
So what what should I what should I pick? I don't know. I don't want to use a shimmer ink at all and I'm not so sure I don't know how this is supposed to perform regarding uh, dryness and how wet it is so I, I think I'm gonna leave this here and I'm gonna go with a purple ink from the diamine ink vent and these are three that are I filed under purple nightshade is really I think I'm gonna go with the, the brightest purple here, which is the Festive Joy. Oh my gosh, that is not, not so cool. Um, I really like how, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I brought my rag. Here's the Festive Joy. I actually have never really used an eyedropper before. Let's see what else is in here. Is there anything else in there? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It looks just like foam. The instructions are right here. They're in, I would say, Taiwanese, but it could also be Chinese. They're... I have to admit, I don't know. It looks like Chinese characters, but I don't know if it is actually Chinese or if it's Taiwanese, but they're in English on the back side. Um, and then this is how you're supposed to fill it. I haven't, I usually use a syringe, but since I have this currently, maybe I can just unscrew this. Okay. I'm I'm going to try this. I don't really have to shake the ink because it's a standard ink. There's nothing in here that would sit on the bottom of the bottle so that I would have to agitate the bottle in order to... So now, how much ink is this question mark? Let's see. And then I'm holding this up. And I'm dripping this ink down here and I think... This is how much I got in here on the first try. Let's put a little bit more. I think that's enough for now. Let's see how quickly it empties, it writes dry. Hmm. So I feel like with a syringe, I wouldn't waste so much ink, but then again, when will we ever be able to use up all the ink that we have? So I'm going to put this up here. Um, I'm going to put on the lid on the bottle right here. And then I'm going to open this. So it's not a, what is it called? Um, piston filling mechanism clearly as you can see that means that we did not um, pull up the ink through the feed so this all has to now um, move down through the feed and I'm just going to shake it a little and then I'm going to move this to the side and bring out um, my fountain pen notebook I'm gonna take this back here so I can put this open this here and then see if it already nope yep as you can see it's already coming out let's see if it works alrighty I I personally think that I have to cap this but it doesn't so it should actually fill the chamber and then I can close it again because it should, there should be enough ink for this. Okay. All right. So I got this pen yesterday. Today is Friday. Um, so I'll just write new pen day. 
and I like this. Um, so this is the Opus 88. What was the name again? Mini Pocket Pen. And the nib is B. Let's give this another try right here. Um, It's quite smooth. I don't think I will have to adjust anything. It just glides over the paper like that. Um, is a new pen. It is filled with Diamine Festive Joy, is that what it, what the name is? From the Ink Vent twenty twenty one. Yep. I think I like this. I did not want to get another uh, medium nib as I am still trying out various different nib sizes and um, just wanted to have more variety. The uh, uh, nibs on the Opus 88 are um, Yovo nibs, number five Yovo nibs, at least uh, the on the Opus 88 pens that I have. Um, they're the same size as on my Franklin Christoph model 45 and they can screw out and so I now have three different nibs that I can interchange between those pens so even if I don't have one of those inked up but I want to use the nib size I can swatch it out um, swap it out and I really uh, like that idea to be that flexible and not have to like get something else. So I'm going to write the ink. I feel like I do have to cap this pen, not cap. What is it called? Post. There we go. Post. Yeah, it feels better like that. Feels like a full pen in my hand. And the color is Festive Joy. So, yeah, I'll have to see if that works or... Yesterday I tried this once and it, the cap fell off and on the floor. So I'm, I'm kind of um, hesitant to post, but I guess that's the only thing I can do. I just wanted to compare the pocket mini pocket pen from Opus 88 quickly with the other pocket pens or mini pens that I have. Um, so this is how long the and thick the mini pocket pen from Opus 88 is. This is the Twisby mini. And then this is the uh, Franklin Christopher. Christoph model 45 and then this is the Kaweco. Let's take off the caps and compare. This is the Opus 88. This is the uh, Twisby mini uh, and then this is the model 45. And then this is the Kaweco. Um, I would say that the Kaweco is the thinnest, has the, the th thinnest barrel. Not sure, maybe the grip section on those both is the same because this one tapers in a bit. 
um, but this grip section is the shortest for sure uh, however for my hands it feels quite comfortable even though my hands are resting on on the threads right here I think the reason why it doesn't feel odd or, or hurts is because this is rounded and then let's uh, post them quickly this one is a screw on wow I did it the wrong way now okay and then this one so with this uh, with posting those this would put the model 45 as the longest um, the Twisby Mini is almost a tiny bit longer, like minimally, and then the Kaweco again as the smallest one. Um, let me just bring out two of the most known fountain pens, just so you, you can see it in the bigger picture here. Um, this is a well Twisby. The, well, this is a Lamy Safari. This is a Twisby Eco. They're both same length. And then this is wow! Look at this. I color matched these. This is how long these are. I generally don't post my fountain pens. Or wow, there is no nib on this one. Um, do I have one inked up right now? Nope. I don't well this is a great comparison so there's usually a nib, nib on here there's no nib on here as well so if I post this then the length will bring this to a regular standard size well it's even bigger probably than these two giving the f considering the fact that they don't have nibs huh <sighs> Basically, this much is on here when there when there is a nib on. So yeah, just wanted to show you and share. Um, if you have a pocket Opus 88, let me know which model you have and how you like it. What's the nib size? How do you feel about the cigar shape and the weight? Um, I, you know me, I need uh, some time with this pen first to actually say if I like it. Sometimes I feel like I'm not enthusiastic enough when I first open these things up. Um, but I will let you know once I've used this for a while how, how it, if it grows on me or not. Um, I just wanted to show you quickly again the um, knob to unscrew the the is it a vacuum well it opens up the chamber so that the ink can actually flow it has silver hardware um, the clip is pretty flat and strong and then um, the finial looks like this and it does not have anything on there same with this one um, I, I do actually like their aesthetic more of a flat top person here but um we'll see maybe this um will show me what i really love okay i before i'm gonna conclude this video i just wanted to hop on and let you know that um i've used this pen for writing for two sessions now and it really uh, feels quite nice I do like the size. I wasn't so sure if I would be uh, happy with the size and I actually really enjoy the fact that when I post this pen, even though the post isn't doesn't feel very secure, um, I have to make sure it is tight and it does not, if I'm opening this uh, compartment, um, then I cannot post like, it's even less secure. Well, it works, but it's even less secure with the 
um, what is that, the valve open that opens up the, um, the ink chamber, is that what it's called? And then, so if I, if it is closed, um, and I push it on tightly, then it does have, it is back heavy, but I think I said that before, the heavy, the weight, the way it is distributed in my hand is right here. Um, so it, it pulls down right into this, um, natural way that I would hold my pen um, and so it doesn't feel like it is pulling the pen out of my hand towards the back so it's really nicely weighted um, the the nib as I said before it is really smooth the ink flows without any problems it is it is a broad nib so uh, my handwriting is quite big like that but um, when I wrote in my journal, let me just grab that. I should have opened that before. Um, I wasn't sure if I would, if my handwriting would still be legible, but it is. Um, and it's in the beginning, it was really big, but then it, it, I was able to write a bit smaller. This is my normal handwriting. You can see it down here as well. So I'm really really happy with with my purchase and I absolutely love the color and I love the purple and um, light blue contrast here so this picking this ink was a good choice do you have a an opus 88 pocket pen I know that there's lots of exclusive um, editions coming out through endless pens um, do you have one? How do you like your Opus 88, 88 mini pocket pen? Let me know in the comments and I will see you soon. Until then, bye!